Well guys, it's Saturday and there's still snow on the ground. Like a lot of snow on the ground. Right now, Dad and Scott are outside trying to figure our way out of the driveway. Dad and Scott put salt down. And put water down on top of that, hoping that the water will move the salt on down the driveway and slowly melt it out. Well, and Scott continues to shovel. work today but today got a lot of things planned I gotta go visit the library I'm gonna visit some artisan shops and try to sell some of the wood burning projects that you all have seen I'm gonna try to sell two canes that I've done and that rabbit you all saw before the only other thing that I've got planned so far is that I'll probably go do a little bit of picking to try to find another wooden cane that I can do some wood burning art on so I can turn and sell it I've been debating about when I'm going to go see about getting some new bits from a wood burning tool so that I can experiment for more designs and more patterns of art that I can do on wood. All right, guys, we finally made it out of our house. And as you can tell, this is our little town and we are just snow covered. There's drifts everywhere, but at least the road is clear. Or let's put it this way, enough to, to drive. Obviously there's still some stuff, but yeah, this is just nuts. Big news. I just got out of PetSmart completely. I, I don't work there anymore because I just got hired on to Hitachi and my training starts tomorrow. So, got to go over to PetSmart now and I got to hand them over my manager keys and all that stuff that I got from them. And then we're going to see about the rest of our day. We dropped by the library and got some new stuff and returned some old stuff and... Uh, try to visit that artisan shop where I sell my goods and they were closed right now It's a mom-and-pop place, so they're gonna keep some odd hours. So I'm just gonna have to keep on trying <laughs> Well, we're at IHOP celebrating <laughs> Food. Yes, you got hungry <laughs> I'm forcing her to be recorded Well, we're back home. <laughs> yep, we've had a busy day. Mm-hmm I'm hired on Hitachi, and I'm officially starting my training at 4 o'clock. I probably said that earlier. But 4 o'clock tomorrow. Yes. Not today. Yeah. Tomorrow. Yeah. <laughs> we went and <laughs> we turned in all his stuff at PetSmart. Mm -hmm. And we did my work. I had to go do the word on the street. What was this week's question? This week's question was, what is your happiest moment? And we're asking that to you as well. Yeah. So what has been the happiest moment in your life? Can you tell us down in the description? Yep. We like interaction. So, so what got, was your happiest moment? What has been my happiest moment? On the spot question, you were not planning oh this. Oh my gosh, you turned my words around on me. Yes, I know. You should know this by now. <sighs> hmm. I'm making her think. This is a very long pause. Sorry, it's tied. People, I'm going to get ribbed so bad for it. Okay, what was I it? I didn't have an actual proposal, so I can't say that. Yeah, oh, okay. All right. So it would be a tie between when you gave me my ring yeah, and when our little dog was born. Oh, okay. Yeah. My happiest moment, honestly, actually is when I could actually afford this. I will say that it was pretty high up there when I actually got to walk out of Jared's with the ring. Yeah. That's so, yeah. I couldn't do the actual, like real nice proposal because I'm I was broke at the time. You but could have. You could have just asked him later. I guess. Whatever. <laughs> I did it my way. It was unconventional. <laughs> but one of my happiest moments for a good long, long time is when I could buy this. And I do love my ring. It's very okay. pretty. Okay. <laughs> That's mine. <laughs> Thank you. Making me feel guilty. <laughs> for the lack of, of proposal. I guess she has a right to, doesn't she? Do I have a right to? I don't know. I love him anyway. Okay. <laughs> I'm unconventional. People should know this by now. That was my word on the street question for today. Now I feel a little bit bad. The way I answered that question. That was definitely one of the happiest moments of my life, honey. 
<laughs> love you. Love you too. <laughs> I, I think it was just hard for me to think of it as a moment because prior to actually getting the ring, and I, you just heard my phone go off. And it'll go off here in a minute probably. But prior to getting my ring, we had been planning to get married for about a good... Two years? Two years. Yeah. So, I mean, I knew it was coming. It was just a matter of when we could afford it. Yeah. We should be able to plan the wedding a lot sooner now. You may finally get to watch that. Yep. We'll see if you invite if you're invited. Are we gonna set the camera up in the corner? <laughs> Actually, we probably won't be recording. Probably. Just for us. Yeah, that's we, true. We may edit clips on the. Maybe edit clips. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I don't think, think y'all think y'all want to see the entire wedding, would you? Would you? I don't know. <laughs> I've seen other YouTubers do it. I have to. Yeah. I think Gaijin Goomba actually did part of his wedding on a live stream or something. Really? Yeah. Okay. I want to. I want to think he did. Gaijin Goomba, here's a shout out. I can't remember what exactly you did for your all's wedding with uh, with your wife. But anyway, so we did the word on the street today. Yep. And we went and we got some shoe polish because you have been wearing my grandpa's old boots, which fit me perfectly. But I needed to take care of them. Yeah, he's been, um, his boots were getting a little bit old, and so my dad had my grandpa's boots. And he's been letting Scott use them to, to take care of himself out in the cold, and he was shoveling so much snow and, and all, and they've yeah. been fitting you really good. So you've got some shoe polish to fix those up. Yep, that was her <laughs> phone again, as you can tell. <laughs> oh well, my phone does not beep ever, really. One second. Talk to him. Talk to me. Well, let's see. After all that and stuff with PetSmart, of course, you saw a little clip where we ate at IHOP, so that was fun. After IHOP and Meyer getting shoe polish and all this, we decided to go over to Michael's, and I got a new project that I will be doing wood burning on, or pyrography, mm -hmm. and there it's a six-pack of wooden eggs. I and, like the way they feel. <laughs> yeah. Really As you can tell, if you look on the ends and different things, you can tell they are actually turned on a lathe. So they're actually relatively easy to make, but I own no such lathe. But that's all right. But over the course of several days, hopefully I'll get these with like Easter egg designs and I can turn around and sell them. Luckily, I got them relatively cheap because I had a 50% off coupon. So I spent only four fifty on these. What I really like about these is in this little box, it looks like eggs in a carton. True. I also, while over at Michael's, found myself one of those adult coloring books. Yes, I actually still like coloring, but you all know I'm an artist kind of deal, so you all can deal with it. I've got Lost Ocean by Joanna Basford, and this one is not only a really neat looking um, coloring book, but it also has a hidden object game inside of it. So while I'm coloring, I can search for these hidden objects inside the pages that she's done. That's pretty so. cool. Now that's something that mine doesn't have. Yeah. I actually had gotten one of these a few months ago. Yep. Scott got it for me. And mine is the Time Garden. And it's just really pretty. It was done by a Korean artist. And it just has these really nice pictures in it. And mine is actually... I think her, yours is a story. Mine has a little story that goes along with it. So it's like I'm coloring my own little storybook. So. Yeah. We're not children, <laughs> but we do still love little childish things that make us feel comfort and relaxation. Yes, it's nice. It's actually a really big trend. While we were at Michael's, we saw if there's even now a magazine. Yeah. That has coloring pages for adults. So it's a big craze. Yeah. Do you all color? Tell us below. Or what other art form do you like? Because right now I've also got another really old cane. You can actually see the worn on it. But I'm doing a yeah, tree really line hard. design that I'm going to pyrograph on this as well. Mm -hmm. So that's another project I'm doing. So I think, well, what do you want to do for the rest of the night? Probably do pyrography art and probably play video games. I'm probably going to do something between video games and I got this interesting book from the library called Fangirl's Guide and I kind of want to start reading it so I might. Okay. Alright. Well, until tomorrow's vlog. See ya. Good night and give us a like, a share, and subscribe.